Salesforce offers useful tools to evaluate your security settings and track changes to your org and user logins. Health Check is a great tool to identify and fix potential vulnerabilities in your security settings. It evaluates settings like session timeout, password policies, and login access policies. A summary score shows how well your org is aligned with the Salesforce recommended standard. A higher score is better, but you don't have to hit 100%. You also have the option to upload up to five of your own custom baselines to use in lieu of the Salesforce baseline standard. The baseline includes recommended values for low risk, medium risk, and high risk settings. Generally, if your settings are less restrictive, you'll have a lower score. More restrictive, a higher score. Let's say you change your password minimum length from five characters to eight. This change makes it more challenging to access the org, so your overall score will increase. To remediate a risk, admins can edit the specific setting or use a fix risks button to quickly change settings to the recommended values from the baseline. Using Quick Find on the left-hand menu of Setup, I'm going to look for a health check. I'll click on Health Check to run my org's health check. It gives me an overall score of 69%. Then a list of high-risk settings, medium-risk settings, and low-risk settings. If I want to edit any of these specific settings, I can choose one of these edit options on the far right column to be taken directly to that part of setup where I can change that setting. Alternatively, I can click Fix Risks to update all of these settings to the recommended baseline. As I scroll through these settings, I might find one that I'd like to change. For example, our minimum password length. Our current value is five characters, but the standard or recommended value is eight characters. To change this, I'll click Edit in the Actions column. Salesforce takes me out directly to the password policies where I can edit this setting. Looking at my minimum password length, I'm going to change it from five to eight characters. And at the bottom, I'll click Save. Before making this change, our health check score was 69%. Let's go back to health check and see what's changed. Again, using my quick find, I'll go to health check and see my overall score has increased from 69% to 71% because I made a policy more restrictive, making it more challenging to access the org. Setup Audit Trail allows you to track metadata changes that you and other admins make in Setup. It shows what was changed, the date of the change, and who made it. You'll see the last 20 entries right in Setup, or you can download history for the last 180 days. Audit history is especially useful in orgs with multiple admins. I've used it to track when a certain change was made an error to help identify what needed to be fixed. Let's review some recent changes in my org, maybe a password policy change. Using the left-hand menu, this time I'm going to quick find Setup Audit Trail. Here I see entries for recent changes. I can see when the change was made, who made the change, what the change was. For example, changing my password policies from five to eight characters and the section where the change took place. Here's the option to download the setup audit trail to view more than 20 entries for metadata changes in my org. Another event admins may want to monitor is login history. This allows you to monitor all login attempts and shows up to 20,000 records of user logins for the past six months. To see more records, an admin can download the file. You can view general login history, including who logged in, at what time, and from where. You can also use it to view users logging in with multi-factor authentication or MFA. 
users using single sign-on or SSO, and those logging in with a My Domain URL. You'll find login history under the identity section of the setup menu. Login history is useful for general tracking and identifying trends in user logins. To review, admins have access to helpful monitoring tools. These are just a few relating to security features, changes in setup, and user logins. Keep these resources in mind as you focus on maintaining org security.